Yo, what's up guys? I'm Black Hero and in this Dragoner video, we got some really epic, actually legendary news. There is a legendary update that just happened apparently a couple hours ago. Like, um, this happened, what, 12.56? About, about 12, 17 hours ago, give or take, alright? So, yeah, this is the announcement that they made. Alright, hey Dragon Tamers, we bring you huge news. If you're thinking about the update you've all been claiming for, you are right. There are many new things for you to learn. Let's get to the basics. Alright, so this is pretty much a summary. There's going to be an in-depth article we're going to go over as well. So the beta PvP is on, guys, PvP. I'm like, we've all been... <laughs> it's here. All right, it's beta still. It's still beta, but... That, you know, that's the right step in the right direction. We found enchanted chest in Dragonaria. They are waiting for you. We got enchanted chest now. All right. So you can open chest. All right. I've seen, I've already seen videos on it. ECT is officially introduced. You will get it as a reward on your battle. So we are now going to be getting ECT as a reward for probably PvP battles. Drago, our new in game virtual currency, is available for everyone who wants to take a dive into the NFT gaming world. Drago is a new currency. It is a non-virtual token that you cannot sell, but you can use for... It's basically a really good thing for common and uncommon accounts, so that's a really good thing. It balances that out. If you want to get more rewards and have stronger equipment, you better stake CYT. So CYT staking is going to be happening soon. All right, I, it's not yet implemented. I checked the hub. It's not yet there. And these are just a few examples of what they want to show you. So there's the new patch 1.1. Also, guys, as of this recording, there's a hot face that has to be neat, you know released yet it hasn't been released yet 2.1.1 so in the next video i'll show you how to download version 2.1.0 but basically in this one is that they're proud to announce that thanks to the feedback and the hard work of our team we are able to identify and fix following reported bugs so these are the reported bugs in dragonary's latest version right uh, there's a visual Realization of missing embers. All right, so you know if you forge embers don't do that yet because you're gonna have this visualization that you're gonna They're missing the price of Drago is now visible in the Play Store. I guess that's not yet visible there fixed fusion of items uh, Fixed energy costs. It's visible in any mode fixed air dragons ability to heal. So these are the issues that are currently happening and Yeah, so let's go check out the article here. I'm like, let's get rid of this. All right, so here is the article um, here so it's already loaded here. So legendary Dragonary update. Beautiful. So the day has come. We have massive news on the game. It has before it's a before and after kind of news for every player. All kinds of players, both mobile and desk. It involves every rarity of every dragon. It's something you've all been looking for. And we've listened. I'm like, you know, the Dragonary community, Allah, you've, you've been listening. Alright. Magical chests have been have appeared in Dragonary. Mag magical magic they're not just chess they're magical chess you know you can try your luck and discover its benefits regardless of your rarity you're going to have the chance to buy new items skins nfts and any kind of virtual objects you can win anything from a common ember to an island you can win an island sounds wonderful right that it sounds too good to be true you can win an island okay <laughs> keep in mind that not all chests are the same we'd rather show them to you so these are the chests that you can po potentially get all right, so here is a wood chest. This there, there's a waiting time of three hours. All right, cost to open is zero. There's a diamond chest. Waiting time is six hours. Cost to open is zero. Ruby chest. Waiting time is twelve hours. And then there's the lucky chest, which you can get instantly, but you're gonna have to pay five point forty nine USD in CYT. All right. So yeah, if I can get a ruby chest, that'd be just so cool, or a diamond chest. I'm like, I've, I would like to get a boat, uh, you know, wood chest, but you know. The better the, the better right because you know i'm guessing ruby chest is better because of the wait time is longer think of our dragons right except this is epic so this is uncommon well this looks uncommon but this is rare this is epic all right so you'll have three slots to store your chest the better its quality the bigger the chance to obtain nfts so if you do if you are one of the lucky ones who gets a rare egg or nft you can unlock it by paying a small fee so there's gonna be a fee to unlock the rare egg NFT. The odds, if the odds are in your favor and you get a lucky chest, right? There's no need for you to wait before opening it. You can become one of the lucky winners of NFTs. Consider it as a present from the Dragonary team. You don't have to unlock it nor pay a fee. Do you already know what you want to get? Okay. Um, 
we are introducing ACT, the elementary token of COT. Dragoner's economy is adding a new member, the elementary crafting token. So we've all seen this in our dashboard. ECT, it's just there. What does it do? Well, how do we get it? Now, here's some info on how do we get it. Easy. All right. Um, it's a infl it's an inflationary token meant to be burnt in game. Okay. So how do you get it? Easy by opening chests in PvP mode and in first five one bottles as the reward. So you can get ECT in PvP. Uh, the first five battles won as a reward. If you get it through this last option, the reward will be proportional to the CYT that you have in stake, and it will be managed by the Oracle. So basically, the more CYT you stake, the more ECT you can get. Um, so for rare users, 0.15% of your balance in CYT will be paid in ECT as a reward. For Epic, it's 0.25 and for Legendary, it's 0.4. So the higher your rarity, the more ECT you get depending on the amount of CYT you stake. Alright, I'm like, if you put it into perspective, what, if you stake 1,000 uh, CYT, you'll get 15 ECT or 1.5 ECT. Alright, because, yeah, 100, 100 100 CYT is, um, well, 15% would be 15, 1.5% uh, would be 1.5, and then 0.15 would be 15, right? 0.15 uh, is ECT. So if you make it 1,000, 10,000, if you, if you stake 10,000 CYT, you'll get 15 ECT. There you go. That makes sense. Maybe my math could be wrong. <laughs> no. <laughs> After the PvP release, you can get ECT when you open the chests. All right, PvP. All right, we're currently in beta, so it's not yet a thing. It can be withdrawn every 15 days, starting on the launch of PvP. Uh, CYT will also have a maturation time of 15 days. So every 15 days, you can withdraw your CYT, your ECT. Uh, just like you, you know, with the current CYT where you get the minted tokens every day. I mean, right? So, if you want to, you can trade it for any other crypto currency on ApeSwap because it's a BEP20 token. We'll also launch a liquidity pool for ECT CYT pair. So, yeah, you can swap ECT with CYT. You can trade ECT. All right, it's pretty much it's it's, a, it's like a it's another token in the game that you can actually trade. <laughs> okay, cool. You see the CYT distribution as you knew it is over. The CYT it's over. I like, you know, for rare accounts, we've been getting, what, like 40, 20? I mean, it's been getting smaller as the days progressed. Like, it was like, initially, it was like 40 CYT, and it became... Now, I think last was like 30 CYT per day. I'm like, those airdrops that we get daily. Uh, it, is it, it's over? It will be modified in terms of percentages. So, once the halving is done, the distribution will be like this. So, for, for rares, you're going to get 31% 30, of rare accounts, 35% of epic, 25% of legendary, 0% of mythical because there's no mythical accounts yet, and then 9% on weekly staking. So if you, if you stake and you're a rare account, you're getting pretty much 40%, I think. I'm not sure if that's how that works. So that's good. That's very good. Very, very good. So stay tuned. The next having is in November. Yeah, the next having I think is like 7th or 16th. I don't know when the next having is. It's... It's soon, guys. It's coming soon. 90 days after it released. It was like August 28th. August, November. August, September, October, November. 20, probably November 28th. Around, around that time. Just be prepared, be prepared guys. Alright? So, stake CYT to increase your rewards. So, now more than ever. I'm like, if we go to the hub really quick. Alright, now more than ever, CYT is the token that rules our metaverse. Our governance token staking... All right, no. CYT is the governance token. All right, so the, just to clarify, CYT is the governance token. But you can't stake CYT yet. I'm like, it's still here. You cannot stake and get your daily chest. All right, so staking it will be key to grow and get stronger, and we'll show it to you. How do you get better chests by staking CYT? How many ECTs will you earn on a fixed basis in the game? It depends on your CYT staking. How can you make sure you are invited to special events and skins drop? by staking CYT. So basically everything around getting free stuff, good stuff, is you stake CYT. They're emphasizing it so much that you should stake CYT. And by staking CYT, people will hold CYT. The value of CYT will go up and that, that just makes people happy, right? <laughs> okay. Like we've been doing, 20% of CYT used in-game will be burnt, but the change comes here. The 80% left will be distributed among those who stake CYT according to their percentages of CYT relating to the total of CYT in stake. So if you're a whale and you're staking 2 million CYT, congratulations, you're gonna get a 
big chunk of the 80 percent distributed to you so yeah it's become a battle of staking guys so did you check how many cyts you have in the hub how many do i have how many do i have i have uh, that much okay okay <laughs> cool all right so the, the beta pvp is ready for you to test so beta pvp is a testing grounds for pvp all right we're gonna do a separate video on that uh, make sure to check that out when I upload it. So from now on, players with every rarity accounts can team up with their friends and find out who is the best dragon tamer. By doing this, we are positive you're going to like it. And once we officially launch it, the rewards will be on elementary crafting tokens. So you're going to get easy tiers rewards when they officially launch it. So the beta is currently in beta. All right. The, the, it, its name precedes itself. So if you're worrying about energy, forget about it. PvP is not going to have energy requirements. I'm like, we've been all worrying. I'm like, yo, dungeons take like 20 energy. Embers already take 10 energy. How, what if they apply energy to a PvP? No, it's not happening. That's not the case here. No, it's free. It's where you just do it, I think. I, I, there, you just do it. And then there's no energy requirement. You just go in and you PvP. I think you can PvP forever, but I'm, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be like a limit. To, you know, after certain amounts of PvP, you just don't get rewards. Maybe they're going to do something like that. We don't really know until we find out when it's officially launched. All right, so you only have a top, you only have a top of one rewarded battles. All right, while the rest of the players can play just for fun. We're making sure the matchmaking is fair for everyone. So they're making sure matchmaking is fair. That's good. It's nice to have it balanced, you know, so that way you're not going up against a meta team or a team that just higher stats than you. I'm like, you know, they just have to level the, you know playing ground so that everyone can have a fair fight and enjoy and be challenged at the same time so drago so we've been talking about drago right we heard of drago drago is a new in-game currency so they are eager to make dragonary even more accessible to those who want to take a dive into the crypto world after all we're a free-to-play game so yeah this free-to-play game that they promised us at the first you know free to play to earn free to play play to earn it hasn't really felt like that since the game launch honestly honestly because you get three dragons right you get three dragons and and then once they're leveled up there's nothing else you can do except grind for embers sad right but now but now all right this this changes everything drago changes everything all right so we bring you drago our new in-game virtual currency that allows you to move forward in the game without investing money you can breed new dragons, fuse items and embers, play on the dungeons, and do every little thing that nowadays is hard because of the numbers of users on each rarity. You will get it as a reward. Regardless of which mode you are playing, it will also be available on Google Play Store in case you want to buy it. So you can buy Drago on Google Play Store. So if you don't want to go the whole crypto thing, right? You want to do that later. You just want to you just want to, you know, swipe your credit card. It's on the Google Play Store. I'm not sure if it's there now, but you know, you can do it. Alright, so be cautious if you want to fuse dragons of rare or higher rarity or even fuse items and embers of rare or higher rarity. It can't be by using Drago. So, it's pretty much the same concept as we knew before. No, no before. Um, basically, rare dragons and up are considered NFTs, right? And then if you're an uncommon account or a common account, uh, you are not considered an account that is rare which is you know everything on common dragons common dragons are called virtual assets in the game all right they're not nfts all right so drago is the same thing so when you use drago you use a in-game virtual asset all right to make a virtual asset hence the outcome is a virtual asset if you use drago to make an nft it's not possible apparently as stated here all right, you cannot use Drago. So it means that rare dragons will be only found. All right, this is <laughs> this changes everything, yo. <laughs> rare dragons will be found only inside chests. So all these dragons that I've bred, right? Th these dragons, right? Th they're no longer. I bought these two, by the way, for the cart. Um, these 108s that I've bred, these first generation. Well, let's look at my my storm dragon this first generation dragon right the, the era of generation one dragon breeding is over all right the generation of breeding 108s feels like it's over unless they roll back that roll that back but yeah you can only find rare dragons in chest now all right or buy them in the market uh, but you know in the market they're they're pretty i'm like a storm dragon i don't even know if 108s exist in the market anymore i'm pretty sure everyone just bought those all up so yeah 
Starting price is 33 bucks now. 33 bucks, guys. All right, so wait, is this a Gen 2? I feel like this just got listed. It's level 1. Nope, it's Gen 1. I guess someone just hatched it. So yeah, all the previous eggs that you have will probably be Gen 1 still. All right, so meanwhile, the fusion of rare and epic dragons will remain as you know it. So yeah, you can still, you know, you know to, to make an epic dragon, you still need five rare dragons. So like we said before, Drago is a virtual in-game currency. Therefore, it can't be exchanged for NFTs or real money. It's the best scalable solution to get the most out of the game. And not only for common users, it, if you are a rare, epic, or legendary user and you want to breed baby dragons, you are more than welcome to do so. So yeah, you know, if you're like me, I'm a rare account user. I get a bunch of Drago. I want to make a new line. I can, I can breed using Drago. It's free. Why not, right? So we have complete confidence in Drago. We are making sure that anyone can enjoy the game and keep on moving forward. So that's good, all right? I'm like, you know, without this feature, free-to-play players will just be stagnant, just waiting for when can we sell our embers? I don't even know if that's going to be sellable anymore. So don't you think it's an incredible way to get started in NFT gaming world? Yeah, you know, just dive into the free-to-play realm. And then, you know, once you get lucky with a rare egg, maybe, and then, you know, you can sell that or you get a rare account eventually free to play it's possible it's doable they made the possibilities possible all right so now let's go talk about stardust so to take advantage of the stardust so you have to save this resource when you open the chest it's key to repair items and for the vital strength of your dragon so they're pretty much saying that your dragons will wither get old and die in the future as is with your weapons, you know, if you don't sharpen the blade of your sword, it will get dull and break off in battle or whenever you use it. So yeah, that's where Stardust comes in. You know, you just put some Stardust and then boom, that's good as new. I'm guessing that's what they're going with. So they could care of your items and dragons. Don't let them lose their enchantment. Stardust and EZT will be your best partner to do so. Keep your items glowing and your dragon strong. It is not our intention to spoil every update to come, but you should evaluate your strategies on the holding of Stardust and ECT. It's just a suggestion. All right, you know, it's up to you. You know, you can, you can, you can, you know, you can trade your ECT if you want, but their suggestion says that you should hold. Hollow guys. Maybe dragons will deteriorate with the passing of time, then a revitalization is a good way to bring them back on track. Wink. All right. So if you dare to be more competitive, the leaderboard has arrived. Your efforts will be rewarded. Yeah, the leaderboard has always been here. I mean, it has been here for the past, what, one week? Um, and $1,500 uh, will be distributed among the best players of their rarities. Have you been training your dragons? Yes. So good job, guys. Good job, yo. Good job, you. Good job. And how was the legendaries? Yo, that's, that's pretty pop. It's pretty pop. All right. So uh let's see what we got here your objective is pretty simple make it to the top of the leaderboard your obstacle is a monumental and breaths of fire is monumental and breeds fire out of its mouth all right you have to face the corrupted dragons in the dungeons and kill as many as possible every seven days the kills will be restarted and you can try again it's time to think of as a strategist get the best items for your dragons and fight your opponents in the darkness of the dungeons all right, now we can play with your friends. All right, so invite your friends to play with you. You can fight battles, exchange items, in-game resources, and more. We can exchange items. Can we exchange dragons? I would be Pog. Uh, and more. I'll, I'll do that. Uh, I'm guessing right now we can probably PvP. I'll, you know, I'll do a video on that. Don't worry, guys. I'll show you how to add your friend. It's very simple. It's very simple. So if you haven't told them, then what are you waiting for? So news for common and uncommon players. So this is... For all the common and uncommon players, pretty much for all the free to plays out there or for the, the goldfish, with all these updates, today more than ever you will have the chance to exponentially grow and enjoy a full experience. From now on, you can take part in events, fight corrupted dragons in the dungeons, and get items and NFTs inside the chest. There are plenty of opportunities to grow alongside your dragons. Your rewards will no longer be on CYT. You will get Drago. And the infinite chances of winning when you take a look at what's within the chest. Can you imagine what it's like to win a thousand dollar island? Can I? Can I win? <laughs> Please. Please. All right. So second generation of dragons and how to get them. So we're, we're talking second gen now. All right. So every dragon, as you know, and even the eggs to be open are part of the first generation. So, you know, the dragons I've been breeding, the dragons you know that are currently in the marketplace. But in this update, you will meet the second generation of dragons. So uh, on Discord, right, uh, there was already someone that posted. I actually asked them to post a picture 
of the second generation dragon so we got here from coop 77 so here's his second generation dragon called kun bueno he got it from an egg all right it has a hundred stats all right i put it here 100 stats it's a cool looking red ice dragon and it's his, his second generation so yep that's it's it's there now it's it's a thing all right these dragons come with a chest under their sleeve and a new smart contract with a binance smart chain any player can obtain a rare and higher rarities and dragons and if you want to get rare eggs you'll find them inside the chest play on pvp mode or the dungeons and hatch your destiny so they're there like i said guys confirm you cannot breed rares anymore I'll show you in the white paper. I'll be doing a video on that as well. There's a lot of changes in the white paper, especially when it comes to breeding. So make sure to check that out. So we seek a more predictable creation of dragons, a healthier ecosystem, and a satisfaction of our dragon tamers. You are the ones who make dragonery bigger day by day. So how come the chests are related to the oracle? So you guys know the oracle, All right? I, I'm not even what. So we've been working with oracle since we released the marketplace. Learning how it works is easy. Every object is valued in dollars. Therefore, the price of the dragons is modified on CYT and BD, BNB according to the price of the dollar at the moment. Alongside the chest, there's an additional oracle implemented. It predicts the dollar value of every item you can win. So here's the unlocked action and then here is the value of the item you can win. Alright, so Prime Pass costs 15 bucks, Rare Dragon 60 bucks. Epic Dragon $300, Legendary Dragon $1,500, Rare Ember $15, Epic Ember $50, Legendary Ember $250, Rare Equipment $15, Epic $50, Legendary $250, and then Island is $20,000. So, so are, are they saying that the value of an island is $20,000? Right? Predict the dollar value of every item you can win. You can win an island, and if you do win an island... You just won pretty much twenty thousand uh, dollars. So if you if you're a lucky person that got a rare dragon, that pretty much costs sixty dollars. If you want to sell that, just sell it for sixty bucks, and that you're good to go. All right, but it's not here only to do that. We are making it work hard each time. The oracle, by the way, each minute the CYT amount to unlock the prizes will be updated through it, and it will also take part in the ECT rewards on PVP mode. So you better bear this in mind, the higher the price of the CYT, the lower the amount of CYT in the game to be distributed weekly. The lower the price of CYT, the higher the amount of CYT in the game to be distributed. So yeah, it depends on the value of CYT at the time. Uh, so let's go check out the CYT values right now really quick. So CYT, that is the coinery token. So as you guys may see here, uh, it's it did pump. It did pump. I'm like, let's go look at the, uh, let's go one hour. All right, so one hour view, it actually hit 0 0.05361, but yeah, that was a that's a really really big pump right there. This was this is this was before the announcement, and then this is what happened during the announcement, and then of course there's gonna be that dump after it reaches a certain point, but it went up 63%, guys. All right, but now it's stable and it went up. So technically it went up 40 percent so yeah our, the, our token guys went up 40 percent i'm like yo let's let's freaking celebrate <laughs> so the chest will give you an ineffable opportunity to temptate what does ineffable mean i have no idea search google ineffable too great or extreme to be expressed or described in words ineffability all right well, if you get a dragon, I'll be freaking speechless. I mean, an uh, island. If you get an island. So, here we go. We sincerely hope that the update makes you feel as excited as we feel. A new era is coming and we are pleased to share it with you all. The wait has been definitely worth it and along with it, a massive dragonary update is now available. So, guys, in the next video, I will show you how to update dragonary 2.1.0. Alright, so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video on Black Hero. And until next time, see ya straightforward so just hit download 2.1.0 as you can see the 2.1.1 patch is not yet out so while that's downloading right you pick the location here see look at all my pass all right this is 2.1.0 version oh i already did download this okay so i already downloaded it all right but i can download it again and then it will go there 